and welcome to On The Curbs. I'm your host, Team Alvis Daily. Joining me this week is W Series driver, Neria Marty. We caught up recently for a speed round of questions about her rookie year in W Series, her ambitions for 2022, and more. So without any more further ado, let's just get straight into it, and I hope you enjoy our conversation. Oh, hi, Naria. Thank you for being here today. First of all, how are you? Hi, I'm good. All good. You? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Happy to happy to have you here today. So we talked a little bit last year, and since then, you've had your first year in W Series. How would you describe it? It was amazing. It was my first year in W Series. I work a lot to, to arrive um, super prepared. But yeah, I'm I'm happy with my season and um, and also with my performance during the during the season. So yes, I'm happy. Can I say, and as part of that performance, you got your first podium in Hungary. What did that feel like? Yeah, it was amazing because I I was I was working a lot to to get uh, my first podium. I love um, Hungarian, to mm-hmm. be honest. It was a really good track, and also I was uh, really good there. So yeah, it was amazing. Also, yeah, after after work a lot, I want to to have my my podium. No, so it was amazing, and yeah, I'm happy. And so especially as you don't get a lot of time in the car to to really practice on a weekend, and then. You didn't. You didn't need much time in the Hungara ring. You were just there immediately, and then you were on the podium straight away. You clearly love the track. Yeah, we have only one practice, one quali, and after one race, so we go only three three times on track. But more than enough for you for for the Hungara ring to get on the podium. So yeah. So then. It was your rookie year as well last year. Did you think that you would be able to finish fourth in the driver standings ahead of like so many other more experienced drivers? Yeah, to be honest, at the beginning of the year, I didn't know what position uh, I would do. But uh, yeah, I told you I work a lot. My performance, my performance, it was good. The car, I was improving its race. And yeah, I'm happy because finally I uh, I finished fourth. So I think it's a really good position for me. Also because I'm rookie. So I was also a best rookie. And mm-hmm. this is really good for, for me and for my career. So yeah, it, it's good. But this year I have to do it. <laughs> I was going to say that works perfectly for my next question. After finishing fourth, what are your aims for 2022? My goal. Mm-hmm. My goal this year is uh, obviously I want to win, but I'm working to do my best. I will do my best in all the races, and uh, finally I I can I can know if I win the championship because it's possible that the the car have a problem or uh, I don't know. But for me, my my work it will be all good, and I will do my best to to win. You, you definitely seem quick enough. So as long as the car is there, then... <laughs> Both. I can say, and as well, to, to make last year even better, you got to test the Formula 3 car at the end of last year. Tell us all about that experience. Yeah, thanks to W Series and to be in Academy, because Irina, you, we are the, um, the, um, the eight, we are um, small. Yes, so oh, okay, we had yeah. the opportunity, the opportunity to to drive a F3 car. So obviously it was amazing. It's very different to the Formula Regional, mm-hmm. and yeah, I enjoy it a lot, a lot. I take a lot of experience, and obviously I was in an experience that I want to repeat soon. <laughs> I was going to say, was it much more difficult to drive than the other cars you've driven before, or what was the the biggest challenge there? Yeah, for me, the Formula Regional is uh, more difficult than the okay. the Africa. I'm sorry, I wasn't and expecting maybe the other way, so. Yeah. Um, 
so then given your success last year like you say you were working hard and very hard worker and the fact that because of that you were guaranteed a race seat for this year how much does the opportunity with w series mean to you Obviously, it's a really good opportunity. I am racing now thanks to W Series, and I, I get now new opportunities and to the, the result of W Series. So it was amazing to be in a championship like this. And yeah, I'm happy to, to continue in this championship. I think it's, it's good for the women. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. And so you just seem very focused, determined, and happy to, to be going racing and everything. It's just very, very, uh, it's very yeah, nice to see. Really important. And say, so is there a particular track on on the calendar for this year then that you're looking forward to going to? We've got a couple of new ones, so. Mm, I'm gonna ring, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. To be honest, I like the Barcelona. No, oh, of course, yeah. Barcelona <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> Uh, so then, aside from W Series, do you have any other racing plans for this year, or just full focus on W Series? Yeah, I'm I'm focused only in W Series, but uh, I'm I'm started to compete with BMW with G Team in uh-huh. Spain only. I'm going to do the Endurance Spanish Championship, and now I'm doing the Winter Series that is like to prepare the the Endurance Championship. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we started in December, and for example, next week we have the we have race in um, Jerez. Jerez. Okay. <laughs> well, good luck with that and the the endurance side of it. You have you had much experience with that before, or is this all completely new to you? I uh, no, no, I never did. To be honest, this is my first time. It's very different, but yeah, I need to to test and new things and to be prepared in. in uh, all categories, you know. So it'll be, it'll be good experience and see what you can take from that to W Series and see if there's anything that you can learn to help you get even quicker there. Yeah, and then the most important thing is that uh, I'm continue training and doing races because from from now to May, it's a lot of time and I need to be um, doing something, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. racing or... I was say, away from racing then, a couple of fun questions to finish off. Then you're saying you, you need to train a lot, but what do you like to do to relax? I like to spend time with my family, with my friends. Simple. I don't know. Simple, simple as that, fair <laughs> Yeah, enough. listen to music <laughs> I like. What kind of music are you into? With music? Mm. Do you like? I like everything now. I'm listening too much the weekend, but <laughs> no, I like everything. I like because in Spain it's very, very famous reggaeton and everything. So I like, I like reggaeton. I like the weekend. I like, uh, I like everything to be honest. Bit of everything, fair enough. And then last question: Tell us the last embarrassing thing that you did. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was going to say, or is it that bad that you just you you blocked it from memory? <laughs> so when I fell off my cycle, for example, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a simple, no? <laughs> that's better, better do. <laughs> so hopefully no, not too many people <laughs> It was a pleasure chatting with you today. So, yeah, good luck with W Series for for this year and with the endurance racing this month as well. And uh, look forward to seeing you on the top step in, in W Series. Thank you very much. Thanks again to Neria for coming onto the curbs with me, and I wish her the best of luck with the 2022 W Series season. Join me again soon when I'll be chatting to another famous face from the world of motorsport. And in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the other videos on the On the Curbs YouTube channel. And you can also listen to me talk about Formula One, among other things, over on the Undercut podcast. 
Away from YouTube, you can follow me over on Instagram at t.albus.daily.onthecurbs and read my various multiple articles over on Is It Fast and Paddock Sorority. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you again next week for the next episode.